In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down how Wesley might be the favorite to win the Madden 21 Club Championship and how he runs his bunch offset offense out of the Carolina Offensive Playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, my goal here at the channel is very, very simple for those of you that might be brand new. It's just to help you get better at Madden. That's literally all we're trying to do. We try to every single day post different tips and tricks both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball that is going to help you and be very very practical get better at this game and we're breaking down one of my favorite guys to watch in the Madden community and that is Wesley this guy is a absolute beast of an offensive mind and in my personal opinion if he could actually I think work on some of his um, a little bit um, kind of just gunslinger tendencies uh, where he kind of just chucks it up sometimes and really just kind of focus it on executing at a high level. I think this guy could be known as one of the best gun bunch players in the entire community. And we're going to break down some of his best plays that I've seen uh, in his club championship matchup with uh, Jay Gill in the Texans club as we kind of prepare for what we're going to be able to see here in January with the Madden 21 club championship so we're gonna dive right in i'm gonna jump over to gameplay here in just a second and again before i do that though i do want to ask you guys to go ahead and click the subscribe button research shows only 40 percent of the people that actually watch my videos have actually subscribed which means 60 percent of you guys that are watching this video right now have not subscribed it's completely free to subscribe and if you don't enjoy the tips and tricks you can always unsubscribe at a later time but we're gonna jump over here into gameplay i've got the carolina panthers playbook booted up now i've got uh, the bucks on offense and the reason why is simply so that i can show you some of the different routes that wesley would create with this offensive playbook so we're going to dive right in the audibles that you're going to want to set for this scheme are the smash return, the mesh post, the Z spot and go, and the PA dig fork. There's several other plays that you can put in there as the game goes on. Maybe you want to have the opportunity to run flood. Maybe you want to run curl flat. Maybe you want to run some of the cross screen or some of the some of the zone running schemes and different things like that. But at the core of the scheme, my personal opinion, I would recommend these four audibles, and then I would recommend coming out in double post the majority of the time. Um, that is going to kind of be your bread and butter with this. This offensive scheme so we're gonna dive right in here and again if you have not subscribed make sure you do that I also want to let you know um, that and a real quick on the defensive side of things I want to show you my coaching adjustments I have the curl flats at 25 that's kind of a standard uh, adjustment that a lot of people are going to make and we're gonna be kind of working out of the 335 odd now Again, really quickly, if you want to get this full gun bunch offset scheme, I actually have a free breakdown for you guys in my text message membership. And if you don't know what the text membership is, it's basically a free thing that I offer my community. All you have to do is pull out your cell phone and just text me. My number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. So text me if you want to get that full scheme. I also have several other high-level pro schemes. But anyway, jumping right in here. One of the plays that I saw uh, Wesley use a ton is this smash return play. This is a phenomenal play. In my opinion, it's one of the best plays in the entire game. And there's a couple of different things that you can do as far as how you're going to run it. And we're going to kind of use this as our focal point for this scheme. The first thing that I like to do is literally just put Godwin on a streak route. And then I'm going to take my back and I'm going to put him on a little flat route to the outside or a wheel route, wheel route or a swing route. Any of those will work. And then all we're going to do is we're going to motion Antonio Brown to get him unbumpable. And what you're going to see here is if they're in man coverage, that route is absolutely going to torch man to man coverage. As you can see right there, it's a very simple route. But it's super, super effective, especially if you can get him unbumpable. If they try to press coverage you, which a lot of people are doing that with one step ahead corners and things like that, the beauty of this route is it's a double move route. So he's going to get that little jam right there. But as you can see there, a lot of times he's going to snap back and get separation. Now, sometimes he won't. He didn't right there. But most of the time, especially in Mutt, if you're playing Mutt and you have the key to this scheme and the key to a lot of passing schemes this year is 90 route running. If you have over 90 route running, you're going to see that you're going to get a lot better separation against man-to-man -man coverage, and you're going to be a lot more effective um, with some of these routes. Now, the other beauty uh, of this play 
is if you have a tight end, let's say you have like Chris Cooley or you have Jeremy Michael Finley or you have any of those tight ends that have over 90 route running. This route to the tight end is a money route. Now, uh, in this specific example, it's not going to be as good as it would be because Gronkowski does not have that route running threshold of a 90, but it still gets the job done. And what you'll find the more you play this game, this tight end route is one of the best routes in the entire game. In my opinion, it's probably one of the top two or three routes the entire game this year. As you see, he gets that nice outside cut and is going to get up field. Now, one of the other things that is really good, and really quickly, I do want to say this, as a rule of thumb, you would definitely want to make sure that when you're running this offense, you're running your bunch as a general rule to the wide side of the field, at least when you're running this in particular setup. And now what I want to do is I want to show you what this can do for you against something like a Tampa 2. And what you're going to find with this play, Smash Return, is the route to Rob Gronkowski gets very, very deep against a lot of zones. You'll see that he just kind of keeps running. And against cover two, you can simply pass lead him up and over the top of the coverage. Now, the other thing that is really, really cool about this corner route, and I feel like a lot of people don't really run this route as much as they should. And that was one of the things that I noticed that Wesley was running this a ton uh, in, his, in his first round matchup here against Jay Gill. But what you'll notice right here, so this is like a cover three, right? If I just simply lowball and outside pass lead you see that that's going to get inside of that coverage that's 25 yard purple zone that that just got underneath or that it got open against so then what they're going to maybe do is they may go to some cloud flats out of a cover three situation something like this right here this is the one thing that i think will give this a little bit of trouble because of that outside third but what you'll notice here is again you can get this and right there you get bracketed coverage but what i want you to notice about the gun bunch and one of the beauties of the gun bunch is let's say that they are um running their deep blue from the left hash mark meaning their their deep blue out of a cover three is either coming from the middle linebacker or it's coming from that left side safety this streak right here to chris godwin is going to torch that type of coverage as you see right here he gets over the top of that and that's an absolute laser against cover three now most good players that you play they're not actually going to be doing that you're going to see a lot of this auto flip cover three where that flips to the side of the bunch and that is you know obviously a much better uh, approach what you'll notice right here is i might not have that window to pass lead it there but you see i can simply pass lead this to the right side if the user doesn't, if the user uh, gets out of the way, you know, if, they, if they're not usering on that on the bunch side, let's say they jump to the left side at the snap of the ball, you're going to be able to uh, consistently hit this route. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Right in that little pocket, you might get that nice little aggressive catch or things like that. So that's just something to look out for. Um, but all in all, this is one of my favorite plays in the entire game. And the second way to run this is to go ahead and take Antonio Brown and simply put him on a flat route. Um, this is a very simple setup too. Um, it's not as good against man coverage. I will go ahead and say that. But the beauty of this smash return is you have a nice little in route 10 yard dig that gets really good separation against a lot of different types of coverages. So you have your kind of high low on the right, but then you can come back across here. And if you got a good receiver with good route running, this route and route combination is going to absolutely torch the defense. Um, in my opinion, this is one of the most underrated plays in the entire, entire gun bunch. And it's one of the plays that Wesley w went to consistently as a base setup. If they're not playing hard flats, you can hit this route to Antonio Brown. So let's say they're, you know, they're running, like I said, that cover three style defense where they, they're really trying to get out there. The beauty of this is, that, again, if they're, if, you know, maybe they're just not playing hard flats because they don't think you're going to hit it, you can hit this flat route for a quick little game. One other thing that I would recommend um, if you're going to be running this smash return, another thing that you can do is you could do something like this where you take your slot corner or your, your uh, Antonio Brown and you're going to run Antonio Brown now on the deep route. And you'll see that against that cover three, it gets a little bit more separation if you have that because he's just a little bit more to the outside. So just something also that you have at your disposal. Now, another setup that I wanted to share with you before we jump into other things is a nice little man beater that Wesley goes to a ton when people are running a lot of man-to-man -man coverage. It's one of his favorite plays in the entire game. And that is this PA dig fork. So a lot of people run man-to-man -man coverage just like this right here with two purples and they're gonna shade coverage up and over top. The beauty of this route, PA Dick Fork, is it's got this little S post route. And what you're going to notice is when you motion this route 
to the left side of the screen and basically snap it. And of course I messed up right there. So we'll just take our little in route. But when you motion that route across, it is really, really, really powerful against man-to-man -man coverage. It's actually powerful at both points. So you could run it you could run it on both sides, and Wesley certainly does in his offense. But what you'll notice here, again, if I motion this guy over, as long as he's got good route running um, and a little bit of an advantage, you'll see you can basically pass lead that up, and it's a one-play touchdown against cover zero. Cover zero will not stop this. They're oftentimes going to, if you're playing a good player and he's in man coverage, you're going to notice that he's going to probably jump out to try to stop that. But cover zero will not stop this whatsoever. Now, the other thing that's really nice about this is you have a nice little corner route. So if you have like Slotomatic on your player or something, um, this is really, really good against that. You'll see here this route also does a nice job at getting open over the middle of the field. The trick with this route is to smart route the route. If you don't smart route the route, it's not going to be as effective for you. But if you smart route this route, and you can do different things like getting it. You just want to make sure that you get this off of the press. As long as you get this off the press, this is going to be really, really good. And as you'll see right here, it gets off the press, and it gets that nice inside positioning against cover two man. And the reason this matters is because if they, if you notice they're not running, most people against gun bunch will have at least one safety high, right? But if they don't have a safety over the top of their defense, right? If they don't have that, that's where this play can really be valuable because again, this thing is going to kill man-to-man -man coverage. So as long as he gets over the top, and right there my guy ran into him because I didn't smart route the route. But as long as, um, as long as there's no safety deep, you're going to be in pretty good. You're going to be in a pretty good position to make some plays out of this. And a lot of people, you know, at this point in the season, you're going to see a lot more people putting a guy deep because they kind of know about this at this point. But I don't want to not share this with you. Now, really quickly, I do want to remind you, if you want to get my full scheme out of this formation, it is completely free. It's in my text membership. My text membership, really quickly, is essentially a free service that I provide the Madden community. You can ask me any question about Madden. All you got to do is text me. The other thing I want to share with you is every single week, I release full schemes in my text message membership, different things like the bunch offset out of Carolina or the U trips out of New England or the ace slot offset or the split close or the nickel uh, over big nickel over G, the nickel 335 wide. A lot of the high level schemes that you see people running I actually have them already in my text membership for you. So if you haven't got that yet, just text me. We release a new video every week. We've got the strong close in there. We've got a lot of really, really good stuff in there for you guys. So uh, if you want to grab that, that's an option for you as well. But those are the two main plays I wanted to talk through about with Wesley's scheme. Uh, with Z-Spot and Go, primarily what we're doing here is we're calling this for this specific route to Chris Godwin. When you smart route the route, you see it's going to kind of get this nice little angle. And typically we'll do a really nice job at getting open both against man and zone, uh, which is really, really nice. Well, really quickly, I just want to share... Um, how this work how this route really works and there's a couple of things that you can do you can leave this route to brown or you can simply put him on a streak when you put him on a streak he's going to run all of the deep blues out of the way and you'll have this nice little up pass lead pass lead that route up and you're going to be very very effective against a lot of different defenses for example the cover three because this route is smart routed and he's going to get that nice long 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 cut that's going to give him room to be able to get over some of these defenses. So if they are playing cover three, you see that you might have a chance to hit Antonio Brown over the top. If they're playing, and this is what a lot of people will do against Gun Bunch, a lot of people will play some type of cover three. You'll see they'll play some type of cover three invert where they basically take those deep safeties, um, or not those deep safeties, but those corners, and they put them in deep halves. And the reason why um, is to prevent stuff like that. But when you start running this nice corner route, you see that corner route to Chris Godwin is very, very effective against that defense. So a lot of things covered here today. I hope you enjoyed the video. We have more tips coming for you guys tonight. Uh, we have more stuff on the way. There's a playlist that we're going to pop up here in just a second where you can catch all of our pro player breakdowns. So I'd encourage you to take advantage of that. But we're going to break down more pro players. I'm so, so excited for the club championships to kick off 
um, or for the, the club championship finals to kick off this next week. So I'm really, really excited to see what happens with that and break down some of the new things that pro players are doing. But right now, this is one of the best offensive minds in Madden. Here are some of the key concepts that he was actually playing with and uh, just wanted to encourage you uh, to keep grinding, keep getting better, keep focused on it. And if you haven't joined the text membership, be sure to do that. My number is 812 216 three six four four you can text me anytime ask me any question you want about madden would love to connect with you and would love to chat with you uh, about this amazing game